friend if you let me be. Episode 1, Part 2. In Episode 1, Part 1, we expose the shortcomings of a global favorite, Time Out. We then replace this reactionary tool with an instrument that biologically raises your child's IQ, framed as time to think. In episode one, part two, we're going to navigate systems intrinsic to a stable household. You see, we don't just want our children to listen to us one time, we want our children to listen to us all the time. To achieve this goal, it all comes down to one salient investment family principles, and their trusted ally, the tangible family constitution. Now, some of the concepts I will go over will not be popular. So if you're truly interested in graduating your family, you will need to approach the following content with an open mind and an open heart. Moving forward, your first accomplishment must be a family meeting. This meeting should take place in a stress-free zone. Family members should feel regulated and sugar-free snacks are always welcome. During this meeting, it is crucial that we abstain from circumventing any family member. Family members should feel valued and family members should feel welcome. If we betray our commitment to walking in balance during this conclave, the ramifications will parallel biblical proportions. In other words, be nice or this will not work. The trajectory of this meeting will be in creating a family compass, a consensus, and shared values that will in turn govern your household. For example, it will not be you who gives your child time to think, it will be the violation of a family constitution that gives your child time to think. The unpopular position in unpacking this impervious system is that for it to work, parents must participate. Yes, hold on to your seats, you did hear me correctly. That means your child can also reference your family constitution, giving you time to think. Now, before you unsubscribe, believing that I'm a crazy person, let me create clear language. This system is 100% absolutely proven to work. And the children who participated in this system are straight A students. One of them even sang for the President of the United States of America and shared the stage with the Rolling Stones at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. So if you have a problem with straight A students, you are more than welcome to move on. For my open-minded friends who are willing to get their hands dirty, let's go over some more examples. If your child swears, they get time to think. If you swear, you get time to think. If your spouse swears, they get time to think. If the babysitter swears, she or he gets time to think. If the family dog swears, the family dog gets time to think. This non-traditional but incredibly logical way of life is amazing. Why? Because it eliminates the power struggle between you and your children. Let me repeat myself. It eliminates the power struggle between you and your children. You see, it's not you telling your child what to do. It's a signed family constitution making respect king. Now, I'm not telling you what your family principles should be. Every family's different. We come from different cultures, we celebrate different values, and each and every one of us has different goals. However, I am confident that we all love our children. The disciplinary framework of a family constitution centered around shared principles is probably the most loving thing we can do. Here is a basic template of how all of this can work. During your family meeting, each member should be responsible for at least 10 principles. Once you have solidified a catalog of shared beliefs, those principles should then be voted on. Do not be surprised if your children come up with principles like, I believe we should have candy every single day of the week. Remember, you are a parent here and there will need to be some form of guidance. Just make sure that when you do guide your child, your direction has a team focus. If you find yourself in a situation where it's us against them, you're going to need to rethink your efforts. Also, don't be afraid to make amendments. A tidal wave of failures occurred before we enjoyed the perks of electricity. To believe we're above this learning curve would just be crazy talk. On the same note, any and all changes to your family's body of work must be graced with a full attendance. I think we can all imagine our daughter saying the following, I was not here when you made that principle, so it does not apply to me, therefore you are welcome. This document is something the entire family should be proud of. Displaying and featuring your family constitution is paramount. 
For example, ours is located as a centerpiece on our living room wall. In episode one, part three, Disciplining Your Children, I'm going to use a schematic to demonstrate exactly what happens to your child's brain while disseminating time out. You're also gonna experience the biological benefits of its successor, Time to think. As we explore the nuts and bolts of neuroscience, everything you know about parenting will start to change. So in the spirit of change, please remember, public schools are great, private schools, they could be even better, but the truth is, parents that are present have the efficacy to literally change a world in dire need of change. So dream big, do your best, and let us here at Neuroscience for Newborns take care of the rest.